How to make your, your lens cradle. To make your lens cradle, or at least one way to make your lens cradle, you can use a rubber mold. This material here is called <coughs> pour mold, excuse me. This pour mold, it's mixed uh, one part to one part. It's, it's very easy to use. It's fairly inexpensive. And you end up with a rubber mold, something like this. Or exactly like this. <laughs> um, and in order to make this mold, I didn't make a box. I made a, a round enclosure with a, in a uh, lightweight uh, sheet metal and I had a, a round cart in the middle to, and I saved on, on mold material instead of using a box and when you're done you pour your resin your polyester uh, fiberglass resin in your mold and you add um, chopped up fiberglass in very small pieces or strips and pour in your resin and after it cures you get something like this now this has black colorant added to it, so it normally looks like this. Now, in order to get this part, you have to make it. You have to have something like this to make a mold. And how that's done is I purchased a uh, very inexpensive wood lathe on eBay for about $90. It was called a mini wood lathe. And I took uh, two pieces of, or uh, three pieces of a uh, half inch pine and glued them together and made a circle and then um, I put it on the wood lathe and just uh, laid out the center of, of the uh, the pine took it off cut this center then I had a piece just like this and put it into in a, a little box enclosure and put some uh, clay on the outside edges and press it down and and uh, removed that clay with an exacto knife and putty knife and it was inside an enclosure and then I added the pour mold over the top and when I was done I ended up with something like this this was inside then you take it out and you have a mold and then you can make as many of these lens cradles as you want this will last a long time the very first one I made was very big very thick and I realized later it was overkill because these lens cradles they're only there for the purpose to hold the the lens in until you go down a few feet and the water pressure takes over if you go down far enough you could actually take off your lens cradle and your lens would be on uh, your, your housing from the water pressure alone so that's how to make your mold and like I said if you don't want to use a, a wood lathe it, it, it looks difficult and it's not. Um, it's, it's very simple. If you can use a table saw, you can use a wood lathe. Um, I purchased, like I said, a small inexpensive one, put it on the floor so it was uh, sturdy, it didn't vibrate, and I uh, was able to, to make uh, several of these molds, or several of these, these uh, lens cradles for a mold. Um, and afterwards, it, I was able to resell the, the uh, wood lathe and get my money back. So. It's, it's a very inexpensive way. If you don't want to go through that hassle, you can go to some uh, cake supply stores and baking goods stores. They actually have some, some tins that uh, you could cut out the middle and use the lens cradle over your uh, uh, housing. Uh, alternatively, you could also use another method I've used before on other housings. I didn't even use a lens cradle. I just attached the, the lens or latch keeper to the lens and um, it worked out pretty good. You do have one disadvantage is that there's not much room for, for uh, error. You have to get your lens on perfectly. If you're attaching your lens to your housing by putting latch keepers here, they have to be on perfectly because at very shallow water depth, the only thing that's holding in the O-ring and keeping the water out is the pressure from your latches. So if you make any error, you're going to get seepage with this method. When you have the lens cradle, if you do ever have any seepage, you can add uh, you can add a shim by putting some neoprene on and or or an O-ring on the inside, so you increase the pressure. If it ever happens to you out in the field, you can also take off your latch keeper from your lens cradle, 
and you can you can pound down this after you to remove it from the lens cradle you can pound down this piece here so it's up higher and it exerts more force when you you shut your uh, your latch so this is how you make your lens cradle it's made out of uh, fiberglass resin polyester resin from a mold that you make with pour mold which is one part to one part you can get this on the internet or craft supply houses when you're done you have a mold just like this that you can use hundreds of times um, you take your your uh, this is what it's going to look like if you don't add colorant this is what's going to look at like when you when you remove it from your mold and it's going to be a little rough if your if your mold is a little rough just smooth off your edges with a half round and add your little latch keepers equidistant from each other on, on your lens cradle. You could add four instead of three if, if you like, but I really had no problem with three. Um, and, and that's how you make your lens cradles. And like I said, you can also purchase other material if you don't want to make a lens cradle. Uh, you'd have to, the, like I said, there's some cake pins that are a little bit bigger than this. You could cut out the center and you could use on your housing. Or you could just attach directly to your lens. You'd have to drill some holes and put your latch keepers on your lens edges and it's a little bit tricky but it had done it successfully and finally don't forget to add your little strips of fiberglass get the chop strand when I had the cloth it just made too many air bubbles uh, I, I used this chop strand in small strips like large band-aids and put them in and then press it down so the little hairs aren't sticking up and just add the resin it'll vibrate a little bit let it set and when you're done you have a very sturdy uh, lens cradle so that's how you make your lens cradle.